watch the Putris Asia Gani video on our channel for delicious meal robots, nasi ayam and ayam penyet. My fascination with dark history brings us to two relics that are hidden in the northern part of Singapore. A stone's throw away from Malaysia lies a bunker and tunnel that was built during colonial times. To get a better understanding of the atrocities that Singapore went through during the Japanese occupation, I brought the team to the Kranji Memorial. This memorial bears the names of more than 24,000 Allied soldiers and airmen that lost their lives in Southeast Asia. Officially, there are now 4,461 Commonwealth casualties of the Second World War that are buried or commemorated at Kranji War Cemetery. Of these, more than 800 of the burials have not been identified. What an adventure! Start of the day, I'm already tired. FML. Okay, my name is Noel. I'm a paranormal investigator. I love visiting old places like this because it's, uh, I love history, uh, more so dark history. So it's a pleasure to be here. I've heard so much about this place, never had a chance to visit until today. These guys in front of me, two of them, uh, my team members, the other one is a very good friend of mine who volunteered to, to drive us here today. His name is Sylvester. Or you know what you could do? You could touch one of us. That'd be awesome if you could do that. We are certain there's nothing above us, like no uh, power lines and all, right? That's going to interfere with our EMF meters. And we're getting some activity. So you may not be aware that um, you've actually passed on, that you are no longer uh, alive. So you may think that you're guarding this place, but um, actual fact, the year is now 2023, right? So the war is way over. Okay, we're gonna stay here for another five minutes and then we wanna find the elusive tunnels. So you've got five minutes if you wanna make contact, talk to us maybe. Say something to uh, to the microphones. I've got one on me. Uh, Shaquille has as well. The cameras have it. Mm. There, there was like initial yeah. readings, but died down. Yeah. <laughs> 
Ya, la ingo. Ya piso otro. Ok. Yeah. This is worse. You want to end it here? Yeah. Yeah, we should end it here. Yeah, because this is so bad. This part here, right? It's gonna be, it's gonna be very, really bad, and then your car is gonna be so. F yeah. So we're, we're not gonna go in. Yeah. We we'll just concentrate in this area. I have no idea. It says it goes down after that reach to a squatting position. Yeah. Then you have to like leopard crawl through. Yeah, which I don't think we are prepared for that. Yeah. Today. Like I think about his car. Yeah. yeah, this car's gonna be ruined, man. The mud is just gonna be everywhere. How do you feel? I mean, try, both we'll a try. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So, but uh, I think I will do something with AZ here. You guys be at the top there. Yeah. Okay, Ken. Okay, lights off, yeah? Thank you. You can see me, AZ? Yeah. All right. So we are down here at this tunnel. Uh, it's just on the stairs all the way down and it's really muddy in there. So um, we could try something here, okay, just to see whether we can get any activity on either the meter or what's behind me. It's so dark because uh, when we're here in the day, sunlight doesn't come in here and um, it's very quiet. It's kind of cooling. Let's steal it once again. So I, I read up online there isn't much uh, about this place, right? Uh, that we know about, but it does go underground, right? That's why it's called a tunnel. I'm wondering if any entities reside in this tunnel. I do know that the Japanese, uh, they use this tunnel as well. So this was supposedly part of a, of a fuel depot and it used to provide fuel to the ships that were docked nearby, right? So uh, during the Japanese occupation, the Japanese uh, used this as well and they upgraded it. So is there anything here that would like to make contact? Maybe you don't want to come near, it's fine. All you have to do, right, is to make some sort of noise inside that's behind me. Make some sort of noise. And I'm very sure if you do, we'll be able to hear you. Please do it again. Yeah. Could you say something? Can you say something? Like if you died during the war, right? This is the fall of Singapore. And then you guys lost, the Japanese won. Uh, and then it was pretty rough for Singaporeans for a while. And then a lot of your comrades 
were prisoners of war. So I would like you to know that you may think that you're still fighting the war. Many years have gone by. Many years have gone by. So um, you are effectively dead. You're no longer in combat. So you can stand down now. Give me a sign if you understand what I'm saying. Somehow you keep thinking that somebody is peeping. Like, yeah, um, okay, from the viewers out there, what you can't really see was at the end of the tunnel, but I can actually see what's the end of the tunnel. Okay. Yeah. Uh, do you see anything? No. Uh, okay, because from, I, um, every time I turn around, it's because I, I feel that something's staring me. No, yes. from yes. our side. I turn on the flashlight for a while just now because I thought something in the dark was staring back at me. Okay. But there was nothing. Um, I opened up the EMF meter mm -hmm. and it was up to green. Right. Yeah. Not yellow, but green. Hmm. So you feel like you're being watched there, I feel like I'm being watched here. Hey, whoever you are, right, there is nothing to be afraid of. You can do more harm to us and we can't do anything to you. But none of us have that capability. But I was just hoping that, you know, if I come here, uh, and, and we're friendly and all, we can communicate, we can ask you questions, you reply either through speaking, if not, you can use this device. Tell you what, let's use the app, okay? Okay, so I, I'm using this device, you may not know what I have in my hand, it's, um, it's a mobile phone, okay? So this is how we call each other in, in today's world. So I am attempting to... Matthew. Oh, you, is your name Matthew? Hi, Matthew. This app picks up uh, readings in the environment and it translates it to, to words it, it, that it thinks that, that you're trying to say. So this is how we're going to communicate. So Matthew. How long have you been here, Matthew? Matthew, I want you to know that we've come with no ill intent. There are four of us here. Uh, the Chinese say that, you know, you should never come in, in even numbers, especially like the number four. Uh, it's advisable to have five people, but usually on set, there's, there's always uh, three of us. But today... Uh, I come and go. You come and go? Great. This is my first time here and I don't, I don't think I'll ever come back. Can't see anything, man. Matthew. Crime. crime. Uh, somebody did a crime here? A war crime, maybe? Is that how you died? Where did you go? Or is there something else here? There's definitely more than one entity here. Where is the entity that guards this place like the fiercest one? Where are you? Nobody understands. <laughs> Great. That's how I feel when I talk most of the time. Um, can you give us another sign of your presence? Especially if you want us to leave, give us a really, really, really strong sign. Should head back up? Yeah. Come. 
Could be the oxygen levels also here inside here. Yeah, man. Quite low. 